in my hair. I see. <laughs> Lexi and Lincoln have been enjoying Lincoln's Love Every Play Mat. Yeah. We have been using this since we brought him home. I love it. It's fabulous. And so for today, I have a surprise for Lincoln and for Lexi. Sissy too. Sissy too. I have two Love Every boxes to open today. One for Lexi. This is the four-year-old play kit, The Persister. This is brand new to Love Every. The four-year-old play kits are... We already have unboxed one. I will link it in the video description. I'll actually link the whole entire Love Every playlist because we love Love Every toys and we have a ton of them. So make sure you check it out. I actually have a video where I get all of our Love Every toys and explain how we use them in our day-to-day -day life. But let's go ahead and open up the four-year-old kit and then we'll open up the looker. That is the zero to two month. So that is for Mr. Link over there. And this will probably be the second video that he's in besides his birth story. So let's go ahead and open this up for Lexi. All right, here we go, Lux. Here we go. I think that's for learning how to spell. Oh, it looks like a fun puzzle. These are little squares. Today. Whoa! What's this, Mama? It looks like an alphabet game. Okay, let's figure out one of these activities that you can do while I open up Brothers with him. Which one of these would you like to do first? This one. With this the one? Crayon. Okay, well, let's learn what this one is then. What word do you want to learn how to spell? I want to do this. I know, but we can put words on there too. So what word would you like to learn how to spell? Um, kawaii. Kawaii? Uh-huh. Let's do a simple word. Uh, I don't know a simple ah. word. How about cat? Cat, ah. yeah. Okay, cat. Okay, so we spell cat. C, A, and a T. So what do I do? Okay, so now you can practice tracing over that and you can practice doing the path on this one. So while Lexi is playing with her play kit, I'm going to unbox this one for Link and see if there's something that can keep him a little occupied while I am learning the new things with her. So we're going to unbox this one. This is the looker for ages zero to two months. So hopefully there's something in here that will keep him entertained for a minute but he's only two weeks old so we'll see i'm gonna see if i can put him down but he's done really good for a while and it's hard being two weeks old isn't it bud yeah get it it's okay spider man let's see le moment go. thank you very much okay we're gonna hold on for dear life there we go Hold on to it. Thank there. you, buddy. So this is the mobile, which is so cool. I think I can probably hang it. All of these toys are for them to grow with. Like I said, he's only two weeks old, so it's gonna be hard to find any toy or anything like that for this age, but we're gonna see. So this is a little expandable thing that you can put the black and white high contrast cards in. So you can kind of sit it up wherever they're laying down for tummy time or whatever. So that way they can look at them and it will stimulate their brain activity. Right, bud? Lincoln is not too much of a fan of tummy time, but I'm going to put him in front of these and see what he thinks. So, Link really seems to like the sound of this little ball. It's just like a little bell inside, but it's a high contrast ball as well. Kind of like the one that's on the Play Gym too. Um, but this one doesn't have a little bell in it. This one does. And it's perfect. It's a perfect size for a little baby. There's also this little high contrast 
um, little ring and I think you're supposed to put this ball inside of it and so they can kind of like pop it out but as they shake it it makes that little sound so there's that and it's a great little teething ring for you know later on so these are little sensory links for him to play with and then this is a little set of mittens that are high contrast which is awesome because babies love to scratch up their face and they can kind of look at these and they protect their face at the same time so these are really cool you can flip them around for different designs one side is like wavy and then the other side is checkered oh this is for mom it says the days are long but the years are short it's a coffee mug that's really sweet that they included something like that this is a wooden book So it is meant to last longer. It's got like a little turtle, some fish, a whale, more fish, a bird. These are just really cool little high contrast images again. This kit is perfect for the first two months of life. There are so many different options and things that they can grow with, which I think is really important because I don't want a ton of toys. I want toys that they're going to enjoy for years. And as you can see, Luxy, who is four, is still enjoying this kit. I'm going to give you a card and then you put the letters on it like it is and you find the object that matches it. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Good. Now that I've got Link all settled, me and Luxie are going through everything that came in the Persister play kit. So this I will call the alphabet game, which is a lot of fun. So these cards have matching objects that are very realistic and small that are so adorable. So you can match the object onto the card and then spell out whatever the card says. And that was a lot of fun too. We had a good conversation about that. Something else that I love about Love Every is the toys work so well together because they're open-ended toys toys even the four-year-old kits so this comes with a board with an acrylic top so you can actually put the letters inside of this board so the same words that they just learned how to spell they can now learn how to write so I think that that's really cool the bottom part of it has different activities and you can flip these cards around Lexi chose to do the maze so we did that together I also really love this crayon and that you can easily wipe it away with the sponge that it comes with and it also comes with a little bag to put everything in so it's great for on the go or in restaurants take a belly breath and think of something orange while you move the orange bead around the circle so when you feel frustrated you can do this and you can think of something like the blue one you can think about the ocean and you go and you spin it around until you feel better i'm sorry for the app that i did that attitude thank you Lexi. We work on it every day, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. This activity is called the calming circle and it comes with a booklet that teaches different breathing techniques to help regulate emotions. And as you can see from the last clip, me and Luxie were talking about regulating emotions and talking about, you know, what happens when you're frustrated. And she remembered that she was frustrated earlier in the day and she took it out on me. And she took that as an opportunity to say she was sorry. We were not talking about that at all. But she connected the two because we were talking about emotions. So it is so good to talk to your little ones about emotions and how to regulate them. Because we're all going to have them. We're all going to get frustrated. We're all going to get sad. We all have emotions. But what do we do with them whenever we you know, go through them. How do we manage them? And Love Every is actually teaching me how to deal with my emotions as an adult. And as a parent, I think that that's so beautiful because we are learning things together. 
Me and Luxie had so much fun with this activity. So you can create your own maze or you can follow one of the preset designs that it comes with. And it comes with numbers one through 10. So they become more challenging as you move on. And I think that that's really cool too, because again, you can grow with this kit and you can do different levels, if you will. So you take these little pieces and put them inside like you see here. And the top part actually sits at an angle so that way once you're done with it you can move the marble to go through the maze the, the marble has a starting and stopping point and there is a little spot for it to come out at the bottom so I think it's really cool and really fun to do with your kids or they can do by themselves it's a very fun problem solving activity <laughs> and then you go all the way back and look there's the marble this is the last item from this play kit. So the four-year-old love every books are a little bit longer than the ones before, which I love because you can actually hold their attention for longer. Um, but they're so realistic for their age. Luxie really loves these books because the kids are their age and they're real life scenarios. So that way they can relate to them a lot. But this is the very last item. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. If you decide to purchase a love every play kit, I would love if you could use the link in my video description because I may make a small commission from that and I would really appreciate that because anything and everything helps my family and I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.